development. Many, many years ago, uh, there were articles pub in the, published in the beginning of the uh, feminist, second wave of the feminist movement uh, back in the 1960s uh, and 70s, and they said fairy tales are bad for, for children, especially little girls, because they're all about how you've got to be beautiful and good and passive and just sit there and take all the abuse your family uh, can dish out or just, uh, and wait for your prince to come. Uh, and I, since i have been teaching folklore for some time, I knew that, that the, uh, these stories were a tremendous minority. Uh, the, the Cinderella, Little Red Riding Hood, all these stories where women are passive and are rescued by men uh, were not the standard story. If you, if you look in the Grimm uh, collections, which actually has over 100 fairy tales, there were only a few that we knew about, and they were the ones with these passive heroines, uh, because those were the ones that the Victorian ed editors liked and reprinted. So I'm, I uh, got together a collection of, of fairy tales with strong women her uh, heroines, and I published them. Uh, and uh, after that, many other people started doing the same thing and people began writing stories uh, with strong heroines and, and the, some wonderful uh, work was done. Nowadays, uh, it seems just natural uh, to have women like this, girls like this in children's books. What was the uh, collection that you It's called uh, Clever, Clever Gretchen and Other Forgotten Fairy Tales. And, and it, it's about, also about why were they, why were they for forgotten? They were forgotten because the people who made anthologies of stories for children in the Victorian era didn't like them. They didn't like, there's a story, for instance, um, called The Sleeping Prince, which is the exact equivalent to Sleeping Beauty, and it's in many different uh, scholarly collections, but uh, it's not known uh, to, or it wasn't known to children because it didn't seem right that the prince should sleep while the, <laughs> while the princess uh, went and rescued him. <laughs>